Welcome back to KSP. This is going to be a very short episode. Uh, we're starting off with a Mars One launch. Uh, the reason why this uh, this episode is going to be really short is mostly because um, I had tests this week and I had to study, so I didn't really get all that much done. It's mostly just extra clips from uh, last episode. It's just stuff that I didn't have enough time to fit into the last episode. So anyway, we start off with Mars One, which is being launched on a fucking huge rocket um its goal is to be i believe it's a um like a like i'm using way more than i need to actually use to get it into orbit but um that's because an identical rocket will be sent all the way out to jewel uh yeah and you'll see that in a minute anyway this isn't also another reason why we needed something this big is because this isn't meant to orbit Duna, and it's not meant to even go during Duna's transfer window. We are brute forcing a transfer on purpose this episode, not on accident like we have been in the last couple, but we're brute forcing one this episode mainly because uh, I saw that we could, and I just made a copy of the same vehicle. I decided to launch this one for uh, Duna first, and yeah. Uh, I was able to brute force it. It didn't uh, take that long. Um, we had more than enough fuel to brute force it. And then, yeah, uh, it, it took a minute to get the uh, actual uh, like Delta V, not Delta V requirement, but you know what I mean. It took a minute to actually get that set up correctly. And then we have uh, Jupiter we have a thing called Jupiter one, which will be flying out to jewel in the next mission. But so the main reason why this is going to be here is it's actually going to land on the surface of Duna and Ooh, someone joined uh, discord and we are going to, uh, land the other one on the surface of lathe. And that's why you see it's still in the fairing up there at the top. Uh, yeah, see here you can see me doing the brute force transfer window right there. Yeah, so this will actually take quite a while to get to Duna and it may actually even reach Duna after our next mission to Duna. Like it's going it's going to take four years to get to the point where it does the next maneuver. Yeah, it's not by any ch any like any stretch like the best way to do it, but I saw that I could do it and I just wanted to do it. Anyway, um, now we're doing Jupiter 1, which is a lathe probe, and this will land somewhere on the surface of lathe, and will get us lots and lots of science. Also, it will be in constant contact with uh, um, Duna 1, I believe. Yeah, or not Duna 1, Mars 1. I just launched it. I'm an idiot. Um, it'll They'll be in constant contact with each other, just, just in case that uh, anything goes dark, uh, or one of them can't reach the, uh, the, whatever it's called, the, uh, KSC, it won't be a problem because they'll still be able to communicate with each other. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this one, this one's pretty straightforward. It's just straight, just straight, uh, it's just a straight shot straight to Jewel. It's, not exactly that hard to do and after the next burn it'll be pretty much done it'll be in an encounter with jewel and i won't really even need to touch it till it reaches jewel which will be pretty awesome uh you're about to see that burn in a second yeah so we we need more science we're bleeding off a whole bunch of science and we're about to get a whole bunch of science in just a minute because this we're finally bringing them home they're almost home they're flying into the atmosphere as we speak um i i decoupled but uh we're still going so fast that uh we couldn't separate and then at the last second we were able to separate before it started to explode um yeah i was clenching my cheeks the whole time and yeah, so in the background, most of it actually survived hitting the surface. We're not going through the atmosphere, I mean. 
And then some of it even survived hitting the surface, as you can see down there. Yeah, it was a pretty big lag spike. What I want to actually do is send out a plane out here and just look at the wreckage. Um, also, that that was a nuclear craft. Like, <laughs> oops. Um, might have nuked someone a little bit there and uh, might need to clean up. So, yeah, anyway, if you liked it, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next one in an actual, in an actual full-size video. All right, see you. Peace.